Good morning students let's start with new topic humidity In this video I am going to explain you about what is humidity what is precipitation different forms of precipitation such as rain snow and hail So before going to start with the meaning of humidity let's learn about general introduction of humidity as we know heat and water are the vital means important part of the environment plant and animal life of the lands on which humans depend for food require fresh water the only basic source of fresh water is from the atmosphere water is the most important as it is essential for the survival of all living organism as we know water is found in all states of matter that is solid state liquid state and gaseous state this we will learn with the help of water cycle in the next slide what is humidity the amount of water vapor present in the air is known as humidity the important instrument used to measure the humidity is hygrometer or it is also called wet and dry bulb thermometer humidity varies from place to place and time to time how humidity varies from place to place let's take one example equatorial region receives heavy rainfall due to heavy rainfall more humidity is there on the other side areas receives less rainfall like deserts deserts receive less rainfall so humidity is very less on the other side if we will talk about humidity varies from time to time so during summer as the temperature is high evaporation rate is also high if the evaporation rate is more so the precipitation is also high so in short we can say during summer humidity level is high and during winter humidity level is less humidity varies from place to place and time to time so by these two example we can justify here by the help of equatorial region and polar region and time to time we can take one example with the help of winter and summer water cycle now what is water cycle continuous movement of water on above and below the surface of the earth there are different parts involved in water cycle evaporation condensation precipitation and one more transpiration what is evaporation in the presence of the sun rays when the water turns into water vapor is known as evaporation and when the water vapor reaches to the maximum height and when reaches to the height so the water vapor that get condensed around the dust particle so in this way condensation takes place and when clouds become heavy not able to hold more moisture then the water fall on the earth surface that is called precipitation transpiration means when the water evaporate from the leaves so transpiration also helpful in the formation of clouds next precipitation in the previous slide i have explained you about precipitation is the important part of water cycle when clouds become heavy and not able to hold more water so the water fall from the clouds water fall on the earth surface from the cloud precipitation is the water that falls in any form from the sky to the earth in any form means there are different forms of precipitation that we have to learn here these are the different forms of precipitation rain sleet snow hail so let's learn about what is rain rain is the most important and most common form of precipitation the warm and moist air mass 
after being uplifted become saturated and clouds are formed and when clouds become heavy then the water fall on the earth surface so when water fall on the earth surface in the liquid state that is rain next is sleet now what is sleet sleet is the important form of precipitation means mixture of rain and snow now other form of precipitation are snow and hail and in the next video we will learn about how snow is formed so let's start with snowfall as we know in high altitude areas snowfall occur altitude means height as we know the height increases temperature decreases so temperature of the atmosphere decreases with increase in altitude and when temperature decreases the water molecules present in the atmosphere converted into the tiny ice crystals so at very low temperature these water droplets converted into small ice crystals and fall on the earth surface in the form of snow next hailstones how hailstones are formed hailstones are develop mostly in cumulonimbus clouds now what is cumulonimbus clouds there are different types of clouds first we have to learn different types of cloud on the basis of color shape such as cumulus cloud nimbus cloud stratus cirrus different types of clouds are there so hailstones develop mostly in cumulonimbus clouds and when clouds become heavy the small water droplets fall on the earth surface but we have to learn one thing when the water droplets fall so before falling on the earth surface these small water droplets are carried away by strong convectional current above the level of the cloud and above the level of the cloud the temperature is below freezing point so we can say in short the temperature is very low above the level of the cloud where the strong convection current carry these rain drops or water droplets and due to very low temperature these water droplets turn into small ice pellets they fall for some distance slightly melt at the lower levels and are carried up again so these small ice pellets fall on the earth surface in the form of hail stones so these are the different forms of precipitation so in next video i am going to explain you about different types of rainfall thank you students have a nice day